We were part of a phase 1B study um, that tested pembrolizumab in four different tumor types, head and neck cancer, triple negative breast cancer, urothelial cancer, and gastric cancer. So I was mostly involved in the urothelial cohort, and those data were really exciting to us in that they showed a group of patients who had been previously treated. They demonstrated a nice proportion of patients who responded, 28%. And what's most encouraging is the median overall survival is 12.7 months, which is really much longer than we're used to seeing in this setting. So we're excited to move this drug forward in bladder cancer, and there are two ongoing clinical trials where we're doing just that, a randomized trial of pembrolizumab versus chemotherapy in previously treated patients, and a single arm trial of pembrolizumab in cisplatin ineligible patients as first line. Well, I think we really need to expand this small data set that we only were able to treat 33 patients as part of the phase 1B and see if the results we're seeing are reflected in these larger data sets. We certainly expect they will be based on the mechanism of action of the drug and the activity we've seen in so many other tumor types. Um, but if indeed this proves to be able to achieve durable responses and prolonged survival in some of our patients, I think this would very likely replace chemotherapy in this disease because of its generally much better tolerated and amenable to chronic dosing.